Hello, my name is Andre Simpson, and I have an MBA in financial accounting, bachelor's in accounting, and I've been in the accounting industry in the last nine and a half years. And one of the most common problems I've come across is business owners ask me, they said, well, I paid this person a partial payment on the bill. However, when I pull my accounting, my accounts payable, AR aging report, the amount is not showing up, it's showing incorrect. In other words, you've made a payment of $1,000 or even 2000 or we'll keep the number small, $50 on a $100 bill. But when you pull your accounts payable aging AR report, the amount that you've paid is not reflecting in the report. What went wrong? Well, there are two possibilities. One, you made a check out to the wrong vendor. Maybe the vendor has a similar name or two, you've not done it correctly. And that happens more often than you think. Uh, being a consultant, I come across that a lot. So I'm gonna show you today how we fix that problem. Uh, give me a moment, let me open up my QuickBooks screen here. Okay, now let's set the scenario up. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run the accounts payable aging error report. Um, we're gonna go to do the shortcut route so I could show you a few items. First we go here and we run the report. So reports, vendors, unpaid bills detail. We have a bill here for Jeff Janitorial for $500. Okay, so now you've been asked to make a partial payment. So, and this is what where the mistake comes in. You go to the right check window, you select Jeff's name, Jeff Janitorial. Once this pop up comes up here, notice what it says. There are open bills for this vendor as shown below. Using right check window to pay an open bill will cause your accounts payable report to be incorrect. Now, if you wrote a check from this window without seeing this pop up right here, that means your software needs to be updated. So you want to go ahead and back your software up and then update your product so you'll be able to get these pop-ups that will guide you through because uh, QuickBooks and Intuit, they want you to be a better accountant. They want your, your business to function properly and they want their software to be more reflective of true accounting as possible because they know that the end user of the product is not a super accountant or an MBA you know, in accounting. So if you don't see this pop-up, means your software needs to be updated. If you saw the pop-up and you think to yourself, well, I'm not paying all of the bill, I'm only paying a portion of it, so it shouldn't be a problem. Let me go ahead and write the bill. So you you went you said you said continue writing check and you wrote the check. You said you want to pay fifty dollars. And you put the memo in. Okay. Small payment, M-E-N-T, hey, no one's perfect. So here we go. And you go ahead and you save and you close. Now, if you go pull the report again, you'll see right here that you still owe Jeff Janitorial $500. Now, if you're making financial decisions based on your reports, and you, you made a partial payment and it's the monthly meeting and this doesn't show more than likely it will affect your analysis your cash forecast and some of your is why it's important also to reconcile each individual account of how much you actually owe vendors renders so in this situation you may have made a you might wind up making a mistake and overpaying Jeff if you're not carefully so now I'm going to sh also show you something else now you go to the vendor and we where Jeff's already and here is the check for the fifty dollars now the date will say 2017 because I'm using a sample file to provide the information so we'll ignore the dates but the principle is the same here is the check number and here is the amount however it's not reflected here so what happened okay now notice what's gonna happen now here's how it's done correctly that's the first way that's where you made the mistake now here is how it's done correctly you actually have to go through the pay bills window in the home screen right here and use 
this lot here, where it says amount to pay, that's where you want to put the, the amount in. I put the $50 in here. Select the bill. The date of the payment, the payment method, whether it's to be printed or whether I'm going to sign a check number, and the bank account is coming from. I hit pay selected bill. Now, this pop up here says, hey, I've just paid Jeff janitorial $50. Now, I want to show you something here. Go back. You pull the same report. Here with me, folks. Vendors. Unpaid bills detail. Now the amount has gone now. Well, what now? I fixed that problem. I made a partial payment. However, I've not paid Jeff $50. I've paid him $100 because before I did not apply the check correctly. So now that you're at this stage, this is how you make a partial payment. In my next video, I will show you how to fix the problem if you are already past that stage. But if you're about to make a partial payment, this is how you'd execute that. Thanks for your time. And once again, my name is Andre Simpson. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email and I'll respond. Thanks again and have a nice day.